Welcome everybody, it's Eunice from Aerial Practice, a place where beginner aerialists grow together. There are so many ways to do splits on the aerial hoop. Today's video I'm including 10 aerial splits on the hoop that I found the simplest. If you're new, click the red subscribe button, it's free and you will never miss a practice. If you're ready, let's get on the hoop for some fun! I am starting from a sitting position, stepping my feet on the hoop, straightening the legs, bringing my left leg back, and arch for a pose. Here is our first basic split. Left leg back, and here is the other side. Bringing the hoop back to my knee. I'm going to do the split under the bar first. Pull and straighten the left leg to a split. Left leg back. I'm bringing myself up to a sitting position. Pull to pipe, bend the leg to the back. This split, you can do it both under the bar and inside the hoop. Come back to sitting. Walking my body down to the right, keeping my butt engaged in this position. I am bringing my right knee to my hands. And straighten the leg. Come back and now to the left side. If you want to see a combo with this split, check out the link in the description below. Back to sitting. I am reaching my left hand out, turning my thumb counterclockwise. Imagine the hoop is a clock again and placing it at one. Leaning my body to the right and bringing my right leg to a split. Back to sitting. Right hand out, turning the thumb clockwise, placing it at 11, lean and grab the left leg to a split. From the sitting position, I am tapping my right leg on the side of the hoop to bring my left leg up here. Circling the right leg down, straightening the left leg and arch for a pose. Bring the right leg back. I'm letting my arms rest for a few seconds. Left hand grabs the hoop between the legs and left leg circle down to a split. Return to the sitting position, placing my hands on 3 and 9. I am doing a fan kick to come to a straddle. It took a while for me to find the right spot to rest my back on the hoop. If it feels painful now, 
try to keep the legs strong and engaged. Bring the right leg up and hook the foot on the strap. Left knee pointing down and foot on the other side of the hoop. Wrap and straighten for a vertical split. Now grab the hoop again and switch legs. Bring the right knee down and straighten. Back to sitting. Once I'm back in the sitting position, I'm pulling myself up to a ball and hooking both legs on the left of the strap. Bending the knees tight and leaning my body close to the hoop. By this point, my right shoulder is leaning on the hoop for support. I am placing my right hand next to my ear, bringing my right leg to the right and switching the hands position. Now bring the left leg to the back and arch. Bring the left leg back and return to sitting. Let's try the other side. Pull up to a ball and hook the legs on the right. Leaning the left shoulders on the hoop, bringing the left leg to the left, and switch hands. Now right leg to the back, and arch. Back to sitting. Walk my right shoulders down, right leg up, and left leg to the man in the moon pose. I am bending the right leg to grab it with my right hand. Left hand in the bottom, now bring my left leg down for a split. Come back and switch side. The key for this pose is to make sure the shoulder is leaning against the hoop. Check the link below to see the Disney sequence with this split. Last one of today. From the sitting position, I'm pulling myself back to a ball, bringing the left leg up to the strap, and bring the right leg down. Switch legs. And here's our final split of today.
When I was putting together this video, I found hundreds of splits that you can do with the aerial hoop. While it's all very fun, I know that even if I can do splits on the ground and starting to have some strength to lift myself up on the hoop, I still feel like I am not ready for most of the advanced splits that you can find on the internet. I just wanted to share if you're practicing hoop splits, make sure that you have a spotter standing by, especially when you're trying new tricks. Some of the things that it might look very simple, but by the time when I try to get into the position and then I realize I couldn't do it and I was about to fall. So that was the moment that I really need my spotter come in and pick me up. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by leaving a thumbs up or a comment below so I can make more similar types of videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care now, practice safe, and see you in next week's videos.